Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own open fronted nesting box such as this one for a blackbird. So I've had a blackbird visiting my garden for the past few weeks. Um, I did a little bit of research and I found that they prefer a large and open fronted style of box. So here I have a, a large piece of pine which I got from an old desk. The first thing that I did was uh, I made some marks on it because I need to cut it down with the circular saw just to make it more manageable to work with. I also found out that blackbirds have two to three broods of chicks per year. So there's definitely still time to set up a box for a pair of birds. So now I'm going to start marking out where I want to make the cuts for this box and you can find the um, dimensions to the box in the description box below. So here I'm just using a speed square and I would like to thank Evolution Power Tools for sending this mitosaur out to me. So to make the sides I want to have a, a pent roof with a slope of about 8 degrees, quite a, a shallow slope. So now I'm just going to make a mitre cut of 8 degrees. So now I'm using an engineering square just to mark out another section and this section will be for the front of the box. So now to drill some pilot holes I'm going to mark around the edges of the base first and I'm marking half the depth of the wood so that the pilot holes will be in the center of the wood and you'll see how that works in a moment. So now I'm going to add some glue. And I'm just clamping on the back to make it easier to drive in some screws. And you could use pretty much any wood to make this box. I'm just using what I had around. Again, I'm using the engineering square to mark a line to uh, drill the pilot holes. So now I'm adding more glue and now I'm going to add on the two sides. And again, I just use some quick clamps to help, to help to hold everything together. And then I can drive in some more screws. So now I'm going to add the front piece on, again gluing and screwing and uh, nothing comes apart on this box because it's quite wide and open fronted. It's quite easy to get your hand in there if you ever want to clean it out. So now I just wanted to give it a light sanding so that the stain 
would soak in nicely. So I'm just using, uh, I think, an 80 grit sandpaper there. And for the finish, I used some dark oak stain. Um, I wanted it to blend in with the bushes as much as possible. So I wanted it to be nice and camouflage. And this is a water-based stain. So for the roof, I had some leftover feather edge board, and this is actually from my uh, workshop build. So I wanted the feather edge board to overhang slightly on each end, so I just marked it up, and then uh, used each piece as a template to cut the next one on the mitre saw. So again, I used some water-based stain, and I went for a green stain, because the boards already had some green on them anyway. Again, just water-based. So then I added some drainage holes to the bottom with a larger drill bit. And now I wanted to add the feather edge board so I just used an offcut of wood here to mark up um, two lines so that, I, so that I could get the first piece of feverage level. And you can see I've got a nice overhang there which will uh, help keep everything dry inside the box and just help to hide it a bit better as well and add a bit more cover. So now I'm just overlapping the second piece and adding the final piece. And as you can see, it actually gives some ventilation holes at the top as well. So to attach it to a tree, I've got an old rusty hinge and I just attach that on the back and that should work just fine. So now that the box was complete, all there was left to do was to hang it up. I didn't hang it too high off the ground, probably a couple of meters, and uh, not in direct sunlight. And I tried to hide it into the bushes as much as possible, and during the spring these bushes will really cover that box and it will be practically invisible within about another month or so. So that's it for this video, if you liked the video please remember to like and also comment and also consider subscribing if you haven't already for more DIY related videos and as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.